Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite GoPro accessory. Let's do it! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my favorite GoPro accessory. This is by far my favorite GoPro accessory when I'm traveling because it is so versatile. This here is the Shuai 3T35. It's my favorite tripod. Let me show you why, because it sets up just like that. I feel like this here, this product and this brand, they've come up with some really cool tripods, some really cool monopods, and it's just so fast and so easy to set up. Check that out, boom. Compact, done, right? And to set up, boom. Twist it and it's set up. One of the reasons why I love this brand is because they thought of about almost everything, right? So up here, you can see a little metal ring. They've actually put magnets on the end here. So when you actually snap it, it actually clicks in, right? So when you're actually walking around, you have it in your bag, it's unlikely for the thing to come out and that protects the whole device the whole tripod that a little bit more and that is one bonus that I don't see on any other brands right now. So before this puppy came out, I was actually using a Gorillapod and the Gorillapod in my opinion is an amazing little thing when you want to wrap it around trees, when you want to put it around a way or something but a lot of times you have to kind of like move these balls around and it just gets so so awkward and it takes so much time like you gotta like and to get it straight like look it's just crooked it's just always crooked and i feel like it takes up so much more space so if you look at this and this it just takes up so much more space right so one of the reasons why i love this tripod is because it's so damn versatile look at that you can use it as like a um selfie stick and it even goes out a little bit further so you get that little bit more reach if you need the background in the shot in the frame in the frame if you need that sh background in the frame <laughs> where this thing feels really good and naturally just wants to sit in your hands and like if you look over here there's actually like a little groove here which makes you holding it just that's just a little bit easier and makes you want to use it more my biggest disappointment with this actual tripod and it's not about the tripod it comes with a ball head and the ball head in my opinion isn't the best design so let's say you want to change the degree of the camera you got to actually um, spin this knob but let's see what happens Oop, it just falls down see that so you can't just change one thing as soon as you loosen this knob the whole thing gets loose. So for that reason, I literally just don't put a um, head on here. Look at that. So like, it just doesn't stay up. So as soon as you um, spin this knob here, that happens. And in my opinion, um, I just wish it stood up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, see that? And the only other issue I have with this tripod is it comes with this carabiner and um, when you actually have the carabiner on carabiner, I hope that I'm saying it right, the carabiner, the actual um, clip on here, it makes a sound so you got to be really careful if you're doing video and you need audio. So I usually just take the whole thing off, the clip off and throw it in my backpack so if I do need to clip this on somewhere, it's in my backpack um, but most of the time it's off. and. This is essentially how I use it. It still makes a clicky, like a little sound there. And you can take this off if you're not gonna use the, the carabiner. But I find if I just have this on there and I'm walking, it doesn't really pick that up. So with the tripod off, you're probably asking me, how do I change the angle of this? I have a GoPro mount on here and you can really just um, turn it and adjust the, the, uh, the tilt. But if I need to move it, I literally just, move it with my hands. So this is my favorite GoPro accessory and this stays on the GoPro pretty much 90% of the time. The only time I take this off, if I go swimming, right? Because this is a metal design. If I also take this into the river or the pool or the ocean, 
it will probably rust over time. So for that purpose, I will take, where did I put it? I just had it, I just had it, it's gone. Is it seriously gone? Where's my water now? So whenever I jump in the water, um, I will literally just take this one. This jumps in my bag as well. This is my water um, kind of thing. It's a flotation. Uh, let me just open this up for you. In here is a big air pocket. You can put money, keys, or whatever you need to in here. And then um, this is pretty much the only thing I use when I go in the ocean. But 99, 90% of the time, I am using the GoPro with this stick. It is just so versatile. It just works. Check that out. Boom. Spin it and then you're done. Put it on the table. And this is something that I feel like it's rock solid, right? I don't feel like it's gonna break on me. I feel like I can hold it even just by the legs like that and walk around with it. So this thing is so versatile, right? Um, if I didn't want this center column, I can literally take this off and then move the camera down to there and if I want to I can literally just put the tripod directly onto here if you want that low shot if you just want to shoot something low so this thing actually comes with a lot of accessories that allows you to modify it to the way that you needed to and that's one of my favorite reasons and one of the reasons why I got this because it is so so versatile so with all that said, this is actually a little bit of a pricey um, tripod compared to the other things out on the market. This one comes in around $72. It's really up to you to see if it's worth it in your, in your eyes. In my eyes, I use it daily. Um, every time I travel, this is my go-to kind of walk around setup here. I, whenever I have the GoPro, this is literally on, on. This is literally on the GoPro, like almost all the time. Boom, look at that. How good is that, right? Oh yeah, and it comes in red, if that's your color. So why do I love this? Um, I like it because I can stick a DSLR on it. Like, I wouldn't recommend putting like a 7200 on there but if you just got like a small compact DSLR like a 70D or even like the EOS R and stick it on there with a with a pretty small lens you know um, it's gonna work fine you can you can vlog with it actually give me one sec let me show you you can actually put a DSLR on here as well and I think it's fine I think like I can hold this out let me show you. I can hold this out. And I know I've got an 85 on here and I wouldn't use an 85 on here to vlog with. But if you wanted to, you could literally put a DSLR on here. This is a Canon 80D. Um, and even stick a mic on. Let me grab a mic. Use this as a vlogging device if you wanted to. Boom. And then with that said, look at that. Put it down. Tripod. Is it tight? There we go. And now you got a tripod with a camera on top so conclusion guys in my opinion if you buy this monopod um tripod toffee stick uh, a whole bunch of other things you're gonna be really happy um i am 100 percent satisfied with this device with this metal contraption of a jigamadik i believe in the shuai brand they've made some really good monopods i use one of their monopods on most of my weddings and I can't complain about it. There's nothing seriously wrong about it. I've been using it for maybe five years now and it's held up for five years. I haven't tried their full-size tripods. It's probably something that I want to try in the future, but for a stick to put my GoPro on, this, in my opinion, is the best option right now. It is kind of pricey, but I believe you get what you pay for. This is so versatile. This comes with me on every trip. I am heading out to Vegas for July 4th and this is going in my bag 100%. 100%. What else can I say about it? I mean, it just works. It's so, so versatile. Okay guys, that's it for now. If you like this video, you guys know what to do. And until next time guys, go out, create, make your life awesome. See ya.